Hi, my name is Richard Duffy. I am the SAP Business One Evangelist at Leverage Technologies. What I'd like to do in this uh, short video is show you the next feature that has been added into SAP Business One version 9.2. So this is the ability to create a user-defined field and link that to a system entity inside SAP Business One. So for example, uh, a system entity is something like uh, a delivery note, or it's an accounts receivable document, or it's a sales order, or whatever the case may be. There's a certain, uh, certain set of these entities that you can use in SAP Business One when you're linking to a user-defined field. Probably the easiest way to explain this is to give you an example. So let's say in my business, every time I get a, a call from a customer regarding a faulty delivery or an issue with a sales order or something like that, I want to be able to record that. So in SAP Business One, as you know, we've got the capability to record service calls, but you can't link a service call in the standard service call screen. You cannot link that to a, um, to a sales order. So for example, you can see I've got um, the ability to link it to an item. All right, so I can link it to an item or I can link it to a serial number. Um, but I can't actually link it to a sp specific uh, sales order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the user-defined fields capability and I'm going to use the ability to create uh, a link to a system entity to solve this problem. Okay, make sense? Good. So how do we do it? Well, very, very simple. I go up here into my tools. I go to my customization tools and I go to user-defined fields management. Then I go here into my service object and I'm just going to expand that out. Now, this service object, this is going to, um, we've got those different areas. I'm going to link this to the overall service object, not to a specific solution or to specific activities against that service object. I'm going to link this to the service object. So I put it here against this title area, or mm, that's kind of like the header. So I go here and I'll say add, and I will call this um, doc underscore ID, and I'll call this my linked document. And then I go here into my validation, I say link to entities, and you'll now see we've got this new field here, link to system object. So I go in here and I'll say, all right, I'm going to link this to a particular delivery. Okay. So uh, I might want to go up here, for example, I'm going to make this a linked delivery document, just so it's a little bit easier to understand exactly what this field is. All right, and so that's all good. Now, one of the things you'll also notice is when I link it to a particular system object, it automatically adjusts the field data type. So the system says, okay, what is this underlying information? And then it will make that change for you. So you don't have to worry about that. So all I do now is I say add and give the system a couple of seconds. There it is, it's now created that user-defined field. So I'll say, okay. So now when I go into my service card or my service call rather, and I'm creating a new service call. So I call up my business partner. Now, of course, the standard service functionality is going to fire off. So if I pick Earthshaker, you know, I get messages like the customer has passed their credit limit. There's no valid contact contracts that exist for this business partner. That's all okay. That's not a problem. Um, so all I have to do now is go Control Shift U to switch on my user defined fields. And now I'm going in here and I am creating uh, this particular record, so I can go in here and say it was a telephone. All right, so it came in through a telephone. Um, what was my problem type? I'm going to create a new problem type, which will be delivery um, shortfall. All right, and then I'll give it the same description delivery shortfall. And I'll say update, so that's now there and available for me to use. So this is the delivery shortfall. Uh, and then I can go in here and I can pick a call type or I can pick a, pick a problem subtype. Um, but in this particular instance, I'm going to leave that all as it is. 
And now I just go across here to my link delivery document. I say to the customer, hey, can you tell me what was the delivery document number? And they might say, yep, it was delivery document number three. So again, I can find that, select it, and now that document is linked to this service call. So now when I say add, now of course standard functionality again, I'm using the web client for SAP Business One that we've shown you in a previous session. So again, you can see all the standard functionality in the normal SAP Business One client is also available in the web client. So saying, hey, you haven't specified a subject in the service call. So what do I need to do? I need to put in a subject, uh, delivery shortfall, and then now I can say add, and that's it. My operation is now completed successfully. So when anybody goes and they look at this service call now, um, they can very quickly and easily click on that link delivery document and it will bring up that link delivery document for them. All right, so that's just a very simple example. Now that you've got a, a bit of a view of how that works, you can start to apply this and start thinking about, well, what are some of the other business scenarios where I might want to link uh, information between those kinds of documents in SAP Business One. It's not built in in the system. There's a lot of that standard document linking inside SAP Business One in different screens, but here's a classic example where in the service record, the service call record, I couldn't link it to a delivery document using this new functionality, I've been able to do that. So if you've got any more questions about SAP Business One, about version 9.2, or about anything to do with SAP Business One, don't forget you can contact our team at Leverage Technologies. Our website is at www.leveragebusinessone.com.au. That's our site dedicated to SAP Business One. Please visit us there. Or of course, you can reach out to me via email. My name is Richard Duffy and my email address is richard.duffy at leveragetech.com.au. Reach out to me or any one of the Leverage Technologies team. We'd be more than happy to talk to you about SAP Business One 9.2. Thanks.